Hey everyone, this is Jennifer Beamer, owner-operator of Actually Dyed Art by Science, and this is the daily vlog, episode number 46. And today I wanted to talk to you about this little pet project that I have, which is turning a sweater into something else that's usable. I have this cashmere sweater that I got, I forget where, but I think it was Goodwill, and whoever had it before me didn't know how to wash cashmere because it shrunk. But it was really inexpensive, and I thought, you know, maybe I'll use it for something, so I went ahead and bought it. And that was about uh, four years ago, three years ago or so, a while ago. And when I was home in the States, I found it when I was um, going through all of my storage stuff and picking out fiber stuff so that I could cart it and sell it. Um, and I decided to finally do something with it. So I'm going to post more of this on the blog when I finish it, but I wanted to show you what state it is in now. So um, here is the tote. I haven't quite finished with the decorative items, but it works as a tote right now. So basically this used to be the front of the sweater and it was a turtleneck. Um, but this basically used to be the front of the sweater. And what I did is right under the arms, I just kind of cut it and um, I then also made sure that all of these edges matched up when I made the curve. And um, it wasn't quite all the way felted, although I'm going to felt it further. I used a really pretty decorative stitch to fold the, um, the raw edge down. My mother-in-law has this really cool embroidery um, sewing machine. I, I used it. I used it actually with my mom. She had sort of the non-industrial version. Is like the one that most people have um, at home. And um, I had a blast using hers. But the one that my mother-in-law has is like the one that's for people who do a ton of embroidery for sale, <laughs> for example. Um, so it's. It's got all these really great stitches, and I picked this one. I, f I think it was called Celtic Stitch. I'm not sure. And so I thought, you know, this is really going to look nice, and I was going to do it in gray, but then I decided to do it in green. And um, as a result, I have this cute little one-of-a-kind tote made out of a cashmere sweater. And inside, I have here pinned um, part of the turtleneck that's going to be a pocket. I noticed it was very loosey-goosey probably from being flipped out to wear. Um, so I think this is going to be a really great spot to hold some needles when I'm working on a project. Here's, here's the other piece. <laughs> but that's not all. Um, I'm going to felt this to make it a little bit stiffer. And um, I haven't decided if I should do that before or after the, I put the pockets on. I think I'm going to take everything apart felt everything individually and then sew the pockets on by hand. Um, I'm going to use, these were like the little, I tried to use literally as much of the sweater as possible. So I have all these weird little scraps that I sort of trimmed up and I think what I'm going to do is sort of do a little rosette kind of like this. Like that. So that um, I just, I add some decoration, otherwise I would throw this away, to the finished tote. But here's the other thing. <laughs> I had the sleeves and I wasn't sure what to do with them either. Now, um, instead of wearing the sleeve as you normally would, what I'm going to do is I'm going to felt this slightly and maybe finish, finish the end, which this is the, the armpit side up here is if you wear them the other way, like this, you have like a little uh, um, fingerless mitt type thing. And you don't have to do anything to it really, except felt it. <laughs> so I imagine it's going to shrink a little bit, but isn't that nice? I thought, was, I thought I was really clever when I discovered this. <laughs> so um, I'm going to get a couple of cute little things out of this sweater, which was actually too small for me. So the fact that I can do all these great things with it um, makes me happy. 
So, and I have, of course, two sleeves. So I will post this to the blog once I actually um, move forward with it a little bit more, because I want to be able to post, maybe in two posts, um, all the steps that I went through. So if you want to do something like this, then, um, you know, there's some pictures to sort of help guide you. It's not really going to be a tutorial so much as a guide. And um, to prevent me from getting started with a project and then not finishing it, which sometimes that happens because life is crazy, um, I'm going to take pictures as I work through the whole process. And then when I'm done, I'll post more uh, photos <laughs> so, so you guys aren't left hanging. So look for that in the future. And um, if I have another sweater, I'm going to also do a similar kind of thing, but it's cabled. But if you have any other really great ideas for what to do with old sweaters, please let me know. Post in the comments below because I'm really in this recycling kick and I've got this huge pile. You can't see it, it's off screen. But it's like this huge pile of stuff, old t-shirts, old pants, old shirts, and I'm not sure what to do with it, but I've kept it because the stuff is still really good. It's just not quite the right fit for either Mr. IT guy or for me. So um, I want to figure out what I should do with it. And before I start, I want to sort of pull you guys for some ideas. And if you have a lot of great ideas and you don't necessarily want to post them all here because Let's, let's face it, we can be verbose, right? Go over to Ravelry.com. I have a group there called Expertly Dyed Friends. And it's really you guys who inspired me to do it because I thought it was just me doing this for a long time, but you guys kept saying, hey, I'm here, I'm here, you know, let's talk and do stuff. So I listened and I, uh, I made a group for you guys. <laughs> well, for us, all of us. And I'm really excited about it because this is actually something that I've been wanting to do. I just didn't know how to go about doing it, but I really wanted to find a way to talk with you guys just sort of low key, um, regularly, um, about stuff. Sometimes it's not always fibery, fibery, fibery related. <laughs> so, um, head over there and, and throw some ideas at me because, um, you know, I, I like, doing interesting stuff and with the whole fiber world being kind of integrated, you are a weaver, you're a spinner, you're a knitter, you're a crochet, um, you know, it's sort of, it all seems to fit. So if, if any of you have any ideas for sewing projects or felting projects or like converting sweaters into something um, other than a tote maybe, let me know and you can post in the comments below or over on Ravelry and I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye! Did you like watching this video? Click Monty if you would like to subscribe or click Socket if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching.